told you about a 14 year old boy attacked along a bike trail in Warren and that had us wondering do you always feel safe when walking in a park? So today first news reporter Matt Horn asked how Metro Park Police are keeping visitors protected in Mahoning County. He joins us now in the studio with what he found out. Matt. Erica, over the last two and a half years, the Metro Parks Chief of Police says they've only had one reported incident involving an altercation on the Mill Creek bike trails. But with summer right around the corner and the recent incident at the Warren bike trail, officers are working, sure, working around the clock to make sure people are safe. Inside the Mill Creek Metro Park, families take time to enjoy the view. I just wish it was warmer. <laughs> But now, many park visitors remain vigilant while walking the trails. We always feel safe to come here. Trisha Coons and her husband Scott say they both feel safe at Mill Creek. I want any child to be safe when they go to a park, and that's just disturbing to me that that happened. The incident she's talking about happened earlier this week in Trumbull County. The incident left a 14-year-old boy robbed, naked, and bruised at a Warren bike trail. People are now looking to the Metro Park Police to keep them safe in Mahoning County. It's important for us to set the tone early that we're visible um, and that we're proactive and people see us in the park. Crime statistics at the Mill Creek Metro Parks are much lower than surrounding areas. Police Chief Jim Willick attributes that to a 24-hour police presence. Our number one mission at the Metro Parks for the police department is the safety. Officers utilize different types of vehicles to patrol the parks, something people have noticed. We I mean, we bring the dogs up here, and I've seen the police actually on a bike once or twice. Even as crime remains low at the park, Willick says they still face challenges. Everybody's trying to stretch the tax dollar nowadays, uh, and we, we do our best to, you know, get the most bang for our buck and to have the most presence to, so that our, our, our visitors feel safe. And as the temperatures warm up, officers say more people will come to the Metro Parks. The biggest issues they say they've really faced over recent years is property damage. As for the incident in Warren, councilmen say the incident up there is an isolated incident. Erica? It's always important, though, that people remain vigilant when they're out there enjoying the trails. Right, Matt? Exactly, Erica. It's All always right. very important. Thanks so much. We appreciate it.